Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the languages that I work in the most. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, what, language are, what languages are you working in the most? Or specifically, what language? Now, it's actually not plural, but I'm making it plural because it's actually, I can't tell which one it is. But uh, the two main languages that I work with, because I'm one of them uh, full stack developers that doesn't really know uh, anything really, I just kind of do a little bit of shallow stuff on one end and then do a little bit of shallow stuff on the other end. And the languages that I fuck up my code base in, both of them, because we have two separate repositories for the front and the back end, is going to be TypeScript and it's going to be Scala, if, at least for work purposes. If it's uh, my own personal projects, I, I almost always practically uh, build my projects in either Rust or in TypeScript. Well, I can use vanilla JavaScript sometimes as well if it's something that like a script, or like if I don't really need the type system or like I don't feel that that's going to add anything, it might be something really, really small. I just build it in regular old JavaScript. And so uh, that's that's like the entire answer right there. The only thing I can add to this really is that uh, when you work as a software developer, I mean, these are not the only languages that I've worked with as at the professional level. I've also worked in PHP, in Java, in Swift, and so far. I th no, I, yeah, I think so. A little bit of C Sharp as well for a while. Uh, so usually, like, uh, when you work for a little while, if you move around to different companies, like, Unless you're staying with one specific stack and you want to specifically go to w jobs where one specific stack is used, uh, you might actually find that you have to adopt a few languages. And it's usually, I mean, when you know your first language, it's not that difficult to pick up the next thing. And then you will, of course, have different associations to the different languages. An example would be that I absolutely love to work in, say, TypeScript. It is probably one of my, uh, like, all all things considered it's probably my favorite language of, in terms of web work and I mean Scala is just horrible like uh, I don't usually trash talk as a language but that is a shit language through and through like uh, there are things that are good with it but it is just the worst uh, I have I have so little and so few things that are good to say about that language that it's it's almost ridiculous uh, but the, the thing is, even though I don't like that language, I can still work in it and I can still produce code and I can do like all of these sorts of things, right? So that's the thing that I argue about uh, the difference between being a professional developer or someone who actually just, I mean, I'm just coding, like it doesn't matter if which language it is, and being a specific type of stack developer, right? It's fine to just stick with one stack if you want to, but for me personally, it's never about, it's very rare that I care about the language as much as, unless it's like a very specific language that I would really like to work in. Usually it's more about the problem. It's more about, uh, for me at the very least, what am I doing? Which language would you, if you I mean if it's a product that I'm building myself, I will always ask the question, okay, which language will fit this problem the best? And if I'm looking for a specific company or I'm looking to or I'm looking to get a new job, I will look at the company itself and ask, okay, if I go to this place of work, pros and cons, what is going to be what will I learn from this environment? And what do I have to compromise with? At my current job, the it uh, I shocked down that the big benefits that I saw with going there, because originally I thought, cool, Scala would be very f interesting to learn. It turns out that it was some, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. But that wasn't the only reason I went and worked at that company. I started. There was tons of other reasons in terms of like office culture, uh, like all the people there are absolutely amazing. I love my coworkers. Uh, we're working on 
very very interesting things and we have tons of challenges that are very interesting to work on and the like the personal growth aspect was enormous and some of my coworkers are some of the best people in the business at least in my region of the world uh, so being able to t work with them and learn from them and so forth well, all of these things were benefits and so even now after working for a while even though I'm not a big fan of the language we are using and uh, and so forth I still stay or I you know I still stick around because there's so much other stuff that is so much more interesting and so much more important to me than the language the language is just a tool it's just a way for me to get to where I need to and even if I don't like Scala I can still build all the things that I need and I understand it well enough to be able to do all the things that doesn't mean that I, I hope that that makes sense to you for me it's really not so much about the language it's really more about getting the results and if one stack is already pre-picked as the big specific company and there's all this other stuff that is really really good about the company then fuck the language it doesn't matter I will understand I will learn the language because I'm I'm a professional that's my job like my job is to produce working software to and solve problems and for me just saying that no I'm only gonna work in a language that I really love or a language that I don't know I don't being a one language developer if you want to be a one language language developer that's fine that's your choice for me that doesn't really matter because uh, at this point in my career I've gotten to a point where if I don't know the language it usually goes pretty quick to pick the thing up and I'm not emotionally in, I'm not emotionally invested in the language the only like uh, an example would be there are people who will tell you that Ruby there's a lot of people who really love Ruby and even Go actually because the syntax is, syntax is absolutely beautiful and it's so nice and so forth I'm one of those people who could just goes that is the dumbest reason ever for me at the very least to say that the language is good that the syntax is nice it's like I mean I could not imagine something more arbitrary and ridiculous to pick a stack over then I mean, that's just me so what I want you to take away from this is that the languages that I work with the most is going to be Scala, TypeScript and Rust and the reason why I have that stack is because Rust is a language that I absolutely love and that I love it and I think it's it has a lot of potential I wouldn't bet my career on it because at the time at the well right now Scala, uh, Rust is simply not the language that is going to give you a lot of job stability. TypeScript I think is like the greatest language ever because it, it basically gives me everything that I need. I have the biggest ecosystem in the world in terms of packages and libraries and learning resources and things of this nature uh, because it's built on top of JavaScript uh, and I have a type system which makes the whole thing scale we have node which basically means that I can use code that I wrote for servers or for the server side I can use them on both sides it is because it's the same language it's all JavaScript which means that I already don't ha I have already reduced the amount of work I have to do because in many cases you have to create models for the back end and the front end that doesn't have to happen in TypeScript you have both and on top and apart from that practically every uh, developer knows TypeScript or at least JavaScript so it's fairly it's a fairly stable platform uh, and Scala I really only use because I'm forced to use it because that's the that's the uh, language of the company that I'm working for I don't like it at all I there is so, like there are a few things that I think are absolutely genius about the language but overall it's a it's to me the one of the worst languages that I've ever worked in and that doesn't matter because it will do the job it will get things done and I can be productive in it and that's what I want you to really think about or then take away from this the language is just a tool the thing that matters is the solution what are you gonna use that tool for can it do the job most languages can do the job sometimes you need something specific but most of the time it's not that important what you're using so saying no to a really great opportunity at a really nice company with tons of nice people and tons of awesome other stuff just because you have a language there that you may not be so fond of for whatever at least for me that is a no-brainer I will pick a really awesome place of work over a specific stack every single day of the week but that's just me have a great day